Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and today we're gonna have story time on my worst date ever. But first, like and subscribe down below to see more of my story time videos. Okay, let's get started. So we matched on Tinder, um, which I feel like is the beginning for many Tinder dating disaster stories. Um, but yeah, we matched on Tinder. Um, we got each other's Instagrams and I saw that we had mutual friends. He was a really cute guy. He was a photographer and it seemed like he had like a lot going for himself. Um, so we, he hooked up a date for us to meet that following Thursday. So I finally get there. I walk towards the bar. It was like a little bar, restaurant, little place. Um, you can see the whole place in through the window. Like it wasn't big. And I remember seeing him at the bar waiting. And I'll never forget, I was walking towards him and he saw me, so you know, to stand up, to give me a hug. But before he did, he kind of like gave me like this look. Like he gave off already like a very like, uh, very like standoffish look. And um, I was kind of like, mm, okay, maybe he's shy or whatever, I don't know. I also think maybe he thought I was taller because I get that a lot through dating apps that my pictures make me seem like I'm taller than I am and I'm 5'2". So maybe he was just taken back that I was short. I'm guessing that was probably it. But um, yeah, it was just that first like initial like flag that this wasn't gonna probably be a good date. And I asked him, so where are we gonna sit for the date? And um, he's like, um, I guess we can sit here. It was a table behind the seat that he was already sitting at the bar. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I walk around to the chair that's facing the TV that he was watching. And as soon as I'm pulling out the chair to sit in it, he's like, oh, uh, oh, all right. And I'm like, are you good? Like, what's what's going on? Can we just, uh, uh, just like that, that's how he communicated. Can we just, uh, just, you know, I just, I'm like, oh, okay, you wanna switch seats? Okay, we, okay, fine. Like, whatever, I didn't think much of it. Cause I know how guys like to like glimpse keyword glimpse at the game while they're like out and stuff so i'm like okay yeah fine it's whatever and guys well did i know that was the beginning of the end first you know how um when you're on a date you like to like sit properly have a good posture because you want to like come off as having good posture and like presenting yourself well so i'm sitting in my seat you know good posture sitting up right you know this he <laughs> He immediately sat in, a, sat in a chair and was just slouching on the chair. <laughs> he was just slouching and had his drink in one hand, had his phone in the other hand, and he was just watching TV and just like having a little kind of eye contact with me and just watching it on his phone. I would have to start the conversation because he did not talk. If I didn't start any conversation, he would have sat there in silence while he was watching his game and drinking his drink. So I'm like, okay, let me just, let me just try. Cause it's like, you know, the first few minutes, let me just like get something going here. So I'm like, okay, well, um, first question I asked him was, so what do you do for work? He went on a rant for 15 minutes, y'all. He was like, well, um, well, I'm an engineer. Um, I work at this company. Okay, cool. Then he was like, um, yeah, you know, I'm the youngest one in my company. People ask me all the time how I do it, how I became so successful at such a young age. Um, you know, I just tell them you have to apply yourself. You know, you gotta start networking. You know, in college, I, I graduated a year early. Um, I'm really proud that I was able to do that. And, you know, and at first I'm like, oh, okay, you know, he's really proud of himself. That's a really good accomplishment. Like, okay, that's really dope. Then he kept going. And he was like, you know, you just got to apply yourself. You know, people got to network. People keep asking me, you know, I, there's so many people that I graduated that don't got jobs right now. And some of them ask me, oh, can you hook me up with a job? And I said, no, I can't help you. You know, you just got to apply yourself. You got to network. You just, you just got the people that you know. I wouldn't have got my job if it wasn't the people that you know, you know. And it's just, you know, so you got to, he's over here giving me life advice. You know, just, you know, remember, just like, you know, just you apply yourself, network. That was all he kept saying. And <laughs> so I'm just like. And he was like, you know, in college, um, I was the president of BSU. I was the president of my class and I had a lot of things going and I had a lot of, I saw a lot of events and, um, you know, I was just that guy and I just, I'm just yet, have, have yet asked any questions about me. And so anytime I would like input something about me, he would just be like, 
yeah and so i would do this and that like he didn't acknowledge like he wouldn't have a follow-up he's like mm, okay cool then he'll start talking about stuff more and he was saying how um he graduated with 4.0 and he's just me 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 master of the universe king of everything like he was just non-stop talking about himself for good 30 minutes on and uh, so 30 minutes go in and i'm just like i'm gonna go to the bathroom i run to the bathroom and i'm just like shiny you can go right now you can run right now just go the other way he won't even see you he won't even notice <laughs> he won't even notice because he's watching tv the whole damn time and i'm just like let me just go let me just go and not waste my time let me just go shit my coat my keys are at the table I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna, I'm whatever. I got nothing better to do. I'm really looking nice. I might as well stay out and have someone look at me. Kinda. Kinda. And um, I have nothing else to do with my life. I have no life. So I have nothing better to do on my Thursday. Um, at least this would be a good story to tell. And he can pay for my meal. It's a free meal. So whatever. Let me just go back. So I go back out. I regroup. I go back out. And you know how like, I had good posture in the beginning? I went back to my seat and I was slouching too. I'm just like, <sighs> slouch. I had my second drink coming in and I'm like, you know what? Fuck this. So I remember that I saw him on my social media, on someone else's social media at this event at our university. It was like an auction. So I brought that up. I was like, so I saw you at that auction. And he was like, what about it? Um nothing i i'm i'm just saying i saw you at that event and he was like oh yeah yeah i was at that auction you know my boy he's one of the officers of that club there and he asked me to do him a favor you know i wasn't really trying to go but you know he begged me to do it and that was crazy because i was end up being the highest bidder that night anyway and i was like oh really how much he was like 75 dollars and he's like yeah so um I was the highest bidder that night and you know the date was cool and all it was all right um but it was just really cool to do that for them and you know i'll do it anytime and so as he's rambling on about him at this auction right i remember i got a text message from my best friend checking up on me so i get the phone and i'm looking at the text message and i'm responding back i'm texting her back and in my head i'm thinking he's not even care because he's not even looking at me he's watching the game <laughs> i look back up and you guys, I'm not exaggerating. I kid you not. I promise you. <laughs> I look back up to him look at me like this. You guys, I was a little scared. <laughs> so, I'm not exaggerating. He's giving me the most evil look. I have never seen someone look at me the way he looked at me. He was looking at me texting with an with evil look just like this. And then he looked at me as soon as I looked up. He was giving me a look like, how dare you? How, da how dare you be on your phone while I'm talking? That look like said it all. Like it was crazy. And I was kind of like, I was really taken back when I looked at that. And I kind of like <laughs> put my phone away. When I brought his ex up, he was like, she cheated on me. Um, y'all females, y'all think y'all slick, you know, y'all females think y'all slick, he kept saying that, he's like, you know, and she, you know, she's on the low, and, you know, that really broke my heart, it really changed things for me, and all that, and he's like, I, and she's, you know, whatever, but he was just talking, like, vile, like, just, it was just nothing but negativity when he talked about her, and I'm just like, okay, and then, and I also thought he was misogynistic because the way he talked about his mom, so, cause he was talking about his dad. I don't know how it got there, but he like his dad, you know, he does this with his dad, he does that with his dad, his dad, his dad, his dad is his hero, his dad, his dad, his dad. So naturally I was like, oh, so what about your mom? He was like, what about her? So do you have a relationship with your mother? He's like, I don't want to talk about it. You guys, he had a stone face the whole day. He was a stone face, no expression the whole day. I asked him, um, so what's your, um, what's your zodiac sign? He was like, I don't want to hear all that. I don't want to hear all that. I want to hear all that. I want to hear all that. I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. And I'm just like, I am just asking you for your zodiac sign. He's like, nah, y'all females always want to be doing that. Y'all females, nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. And I'm just like, 
It is not that serious. I was just look, asking for your sign for a conversation, but okay. So what did it for me at the end of the night, it was towards the end of the date and I went, oh, so okay. This waiter came and she was escorting three girls to the table next to us and they're walking behind me. So, and I catch him, right? So he's watching TV like he did the whole night. And then when these three girls came, he was checking them out in front of me. And I saw him checking them out because they were going behind me. And you guys, these girls were young. They were not, they were not like our age. They had to be like 16, 17, 18, within that range, 19, maybe. Like, I don't even think, like they were more than 18 years old. And he's 25. So when he was like checking them out and I'm like, are you? You serious? Soon as these little three girls came and walked and sat to the table next to us, he perked up. He perked up. He like had some expression in his face. And then he also started to, you know, make more eye contact with me. And he kind of turned his body, like he angled himself so they can kind of see him more. And I'm watching this metamorphosis happen. And I'm just like, you ready to go? you ready to go because I'm about done <laughs> I, I was that was it for me I'm like let's go I ain't got mm -mm. time's up reclaiming my time reclaiming my time because this is done this is done you have this here and you're over here checking out some teenage girls and your ass is 25 reclaiming my time and we're at the sidewalk and you know I don't even think I hugged him I said okay well you know <laughs> like, what do you say when it's like a bad date? <laughs> this has been good. No, it hasn't been good. Um, nice meeting you. It was not nice meeting you. Like, what do you say that moment? Oh, see you. Nope, not even see you later. Hell, I know. I hope I never see you. <laughs> like, bye. Stepped in my car. I unfollowed him. I blocked his number. I unmatched him. I was like, adios, you're fucking psycho. And, um and surprisingly i think he like followed me up until like the end of that year like the end of the year it was really weird like he still followed me and i unfollowed him and um yeah i was all set that's the end of my story guys i hope you enjoyed it um again if you did like it like and subscribe down below and i will be coming back with some more story time videos and trust me you want to hear those as well so till next time guys see you later bye bye